Hey everyone, Tara Melton here, and today I'm going to walk you through an updated feature that was released in Axiom version 3.9 that allows you to tag files in either artifact view or file system view and have it sync between those two explorers. Please keep in mind that the tag syncing feature will only work on cases that currently do not have any tags applied. So if you're already working cases with tags that you're currently examining with earlier versions of Axiom, this feature will not work unless you reprocess those cases. So let's see what that new feature looks like. I have Axiom Examine open, and you can see that I do not have any tags applied in this case yet. And I'll switch over to Artifacts view, and as I'm working my examination, I may come across some artifacts of interest that I want to add a tag to. Also note that this will only work on artifacts that have a direct one-to-one -one relationship with a file in the file system. Therefore, if I tag an artifact that was parsed or carved from a file, it will not tag that entire file that it was uh, parsed from in the file system view. So one example would be from log files. You see here I have um, artifacts parsed from the Windows event logs, for example. And if I would tag an entry from here, it's not going to tag the entire event log since this one entry is just a small part of that file. However, if I tag a file in the artifacts view that is found directly in the file system, you'll see that sync. So for example, I'm going to go to the Word documents, and I'm going to right click this file and tag it of interest. And then to view this file in the file system quickly, I'm going to use the source link to switch over to see where this file lives in the file system. And you can see that the tag that I applied in the artifacts view was also applied here as well. This, this uh, feature also works the opposite way, so I'm going to stay here in file system view, and if I come across a file of interest that I want to tag, Axiom will also tag that file in the artifacts view. This can have, work a couple of different ways though, so if you tag a file in the file system view that already has been surfaced in an artifact category supported by Axiom, such within documents or media, it will tag that file within that artifact. So you'll see here, if I tag this PDF file in my case, I'm going to go ahead and right click this and add a bookmark to it. And then to quickly find it in the artifacts view, I'm going to choose view related artifacts and it'll switch over and you can see that that tag was applied on that PDF file within the document artifact category. But if you tag a uh, file that's not already contained within an artifact category surfaced by Axiom, it will add it as a new artifact as I'll show you here. So I'm going to go back into file system. And then here, for example, if I wanted to tag this executable file, this executable file itself is not surfaced as an artifact in the artifacts view. So when I tag it, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the artifacts view. And when I scroll down here, you'll see that, that there is this new um, artifact category on the bottom that says tag from file system. So here's where you'll find any of the files that you tag in the file system that are not already a part of another artifact category. This helps to make sure that all the files of interest that you have tagged in your case, regardless of where you found them in the artifacts view or the file system view, they're easy to find, they're all in one location, and it makes it a lot easier for reporting and exporting from this view as well. So hopefully this tag syncing feature will help you while you're doing your examinations within Axiom. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.